After the April 11, 2015 House of Assembly election in Edo states, the Independent National Electoral Commission declared the APC candidate Dr. Yakubu Gowan, winner of the Asako West constituency 2, having polled over 14,000 votes to defeat the PDP candidate Sivinos Peter Siraga, who got 4,001 votes. Not satisfied with the alleged irregularities that manned the conduct of the election, the PDP candidate Sivinos Peter Siraga approached the Edo State Election Petition Tribunal that the APC candidate was not qualified to have contested the elections on the grounds that the All Progressive Congress, under which platform Dr. Yakubu Gowan contested for the Esako West constituency two seat, did not give 21 days notice to INEC before conducting its primaries. At the tribunal, the PDP candidate, through his lawyers, argued that the APC contravened Section 95, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Law by not giving a 21-day notice to INEC and therefore asked the tribunal to declare the election results of the APC candidate invalid by reason of irregularities. In his ruling, the chairman of the three-man tribunal headed by Justice Aboa upheld the preliminary point that the APC did not comply with the constitution and then declared Sivinos Peter Siraga as a winner of the Esako West Constituency 2 election. Not satisfied with the judgment, the APC candidate Dr. Yakubu Gowan went to the appeal court to complain that the tribunal was too hasty in declaring Sivinos Iraga as winner on the preliminary point only and after hearing the appeal, the court agreed with the APC that the tribunal was indeed hasty to have declared Sivinos Peter Iraga winner without looking at the merit of the case and directed for a fresh tribunal to be reconstituted. Obeying the directive of the appeal court, a new tribunal was reconstituted which had the merits of the case and then ordered that there should be a rerun but that the APC should be excluded from the rerun owing to the failure by the APC to give 21 days notice to INEC before its primaries were heard. With the judgment by the second tribunal, the APC for the second time approached the court of appeal and contended that their candidate should be declared winner instead of excluding APC from the rerun. While the PDP candidate Sivinos Peter Siraga also approached the appeal court that instead of a rerun, the court should declare him winner since he was the only qualified candidate to have contested the election. After hearing all the parties, the presiding judge, Justice Teresa Ungolika Oji, upheld the argument of the PDP candidate and declared Sivinos Peter Siraga as the winner of the election and ordered INEC to withdraw the certificate of return Ella issued to Dr. Yakubu Gowan of the APC and issued a fresh certificate to Sivinos Iraga. Going by that judgment, the INEC in Benin issued a certificate of return to the member elect Sivinos Peters Iraga. There was, however, delay in swearing in of the member elect as the Speaker of the Dosti House of Assembly, Victor Edoro, said INEC should authenticate the certificate of return issued to Sivinos Peters Iraga before he can be sworn in. This controversy prompted the PDP and their candidates to revisit the appeal court to obtain Form 48 to be served on the Speaker, which led to accusation and counter accusations. The court belief of the appeal court, Mr. Ibrahim Ifiji, alleged that he was manhandled by aides to the Speaker in the process of serving the 448, whereas the Speaker of the House, Victor Doro, denied the allegation. That incident led to the filing of Form 49 on the Speaker which by implication could lead to the speaker being in prison for content of courts. At the hearing of applications to either commit the speaker to prison or set aside from 48 and 49, which was argued by counsel to Sivine Hospital Siraga, Barrister Delek Benedion, and the Solicitor General of Edo State, Barrister Oluwole Iyamu, who stood in for the speaker on Monday, the presiding judge, Justice Jimmy Bada, in his ruling, ordered that the speaker, Victor Eduro, and the clerk of the house, Nessie Ugyagbe, should appear in court in 72 hours. According to some legal luminaries, the decision by the appeal court that the speaker should appear before it may not go down well, which some persons assumed may be the reason why the House decided to swear in Sivinos Peter Siraga. At the time of this report, it was not clear whether the appeal court would still entertain the application filed by both parties.